Watson released on July 2019 at the beginning of Season 2. Since then, she has seen quite a bit of nerfs as well as some buffs. Today we will go over all of Watson's changes starting from release through Season 10. First, let's quickly go over her abilities. Her tactical, Perimeter Security, allows Watson to stack up to 4 nodes and she is capable of placing 12 fences in total. These nodes have a 30 second cooldown, which can be shortened to 3 seconds when combined with her ultimate. If an enemy passes through a fence, they will be temporarily stunned and be dealt a bit of damage. Next, let's go over her passive, which is Spark of Genius. Spark of Genius allows Watson to fully charge her ultimate with a single ultimate accelerant, no matter what her percentage is. And finally, Watson's ultimate is an interception pylon which destroys all incoming ordnance and recharges all shields within range at a rate of about 2 shields per second. Upon release, Watson became an instant must pick for competitive meta along with Pathfinder and Wraith. Her first changes came in September of 2019 during the Voidwalker event. Watson was given the low profile passive perk which was given to legends that were considered hard to hit because of their smaller size and hitbox. This meant that they would take an additional 5% damage and incoming limb shots did the same amount of damage as body shots. Additionally, her ultimate was also nerfed by reducing the amount of interception pylons that can be placed from 3 to 1. Although significant, these changes did not stop Watson from dominating the meta and she continued to do so until the Lost Treasures event which came in June of 2020. The Lost Treasures patch notes brought arguably the biggest changes to Watson. First, her ultimate was reverted back to being able to place up to 3 interception pylons instead of 1. Her interception pylon was also given a timer of 90 seconds instead of being infinite. Next, her Spark of Genius passive was given an additional perk allowing Watson to stack up to 2 ultimate accelerants per inventory slot. And lastly, a minor buff was given to Crypto allowing him to destroy all interception pylons with his EMP ultimate which was an indirect nerf to Watson. These changes, along with other changes to legends such as Bloodhound and Gibraltar led to a steep decline in competitive play for Watson. At the beginning of Season 6 in August of 2020, Watson received a minor buff. Her interception pylon would now shoot down caustic barrels if they would land within the area of effect. Her next change came at the beginning of Season 7 in November of 2020. The amount of damage if an enemy were to pass through a fence was increased from 10 to 15. 4 months would go by before Watson would see her 5th change. The Chaos Theory event dropped in March of 2021. With it, Watson gained an additional passive allowing her to recharge her shields at a rate of half a shield every second. This new passive would also stack with the interception pylon regen rate. 2 months later, in May of 2021, Apex Legends released Season 9 Legacy. Although there were no changes given directly to Watson, there were 2 indirect buffs. First, Low Profile was completely removed from the game, meaning Wraith, Lifeline, and Watson would no longer take additional damage. Next, Horizon's abilities would now be negated by Watson's interception pylons. This was listed as a nerf to Horizon. Finally, we get to the mid-season update for Season 9 named Genesis, where the devs decided to have a little bit of fun and gave Watson the ability to place up to 20 Nessies anywhere on the map using Watson's epic emote. The devs called this a major buff which upset some people in the community, but was obviously meant to be taken as satire. And that's it. That's all the changes to Watson since release up until Season 10. Personally, I am a Watson main and I can't wait to see what the devs have in store. Thank you for checking out my video, links are down below, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.